ladies and gentlemen, we got another one of those dramas to talk about because the homie PlayStation Cast or my bad, uh, the homie Dreamcast guy came out and he went crazy. Okay, we got the gamer, the homie, my man, my boy. He also came out and started flaming Xbox. The homie Spawn Wave going crazy right now. The homie Dreamcast guy going crazy. The entire internet is in disbelief right now. Okay, a lot of people calling out the gaming for everyone, man. Destin, Legary also. People uh, sharing these video clips as well that we're gonna be taking a look at and what else can I say man Sick as we drop in memes like that too guys uh, right now everybody's looking like this okay Like suckers do not know what's going on suckers don't know what's going on and suckers don't know what's going on okay Some people getting their popcorn ready all I'm saying here is that put your seat belts on and if you play on PlayStation or Xbox all I'm saying here is that online needs to be free to play okay <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Like the video if PlayStation and Xbox deserve to get free online. Dislike the video if you think paying is actually a good thing. Yay! We're gonna get right into the story, guys. Do not be throwing these punches here, but uh, clench your butt cheeks. We gotta talk about this immediately, okay? Holy smoke, is it ain't no joke, is okay? So a man just came out, and you're probably like, hey, because of what happened? What happened? Tell us, tell us what happened, okay? Guys, the plot twist is gonna hit different as we go through this, okay? This is the first. Uh, this is like Avengers Infinity War. Wait for, wait for the Avengers Endgame, okay? So man comes out says that I'm sad about three seats away from Phil Spencer and glance over during the reveal of Indiana Jones coming to PlayStation 5. He legit looked like this. Damn, 23,000 likes, okay? Can I brother get two likes on the video? The homie also followed by saying that I'm never getting an Xbox review code again. Am I? Uh, can someone retweet and like and share clips on me? Someone saying I love High Fire Rush again. Is it too late for that? The homie part of the modern audience uh, James W says that seeing that one more thing framing and PS5 logo on such a huge stage really drove home how spectacular a failure this generation and push has been for Xbox and right now like suck is not stopping though man comes out said that they threw that PS5 logo for Indiana Jones like it's a post credit scene <laughs> in a MCU movie so suck is are in disbelief Destin Laguerre okay let me tell you one thing about the homie Destin Laguerre he was like all over when you know microsoft was fighting for uh, acquiring the the activision blizzard uh, and snatching activision from sony you know what i'm saying phil spencer wanted under his regime right now it is under his regime so destin says that it's not indiana jones or starfield he's quoting uh phil spencer phil spencer on xbox games going to ps5 february 2025 guys over this one you gonna you might want to put your seat belts on okay the homie went crazy he did when bozo uh, all the way back okay in february of 2024 and you guys gotta understand that around this time we did have rumors okay like seconds were dropping rumors left and right and, and you know what the rumors did say that mostly all the xbox games are gonna be coming on playstation and, and things were looking so bad around that time i don't even know why it's just video games man like coming to playstation xbox like, i i like do i care for that absolutely not i do care for the sauce i do care for when uh you know suckers get mad and all that it makes for good content but suckers were really mad around that time i believe there was one xbox guy also said that he's gonna sell his xbox he was a grown-ass man right and he was really crying he almost cried and we were kind of like talking about him and we were like damn homie damn like phil spencer you're really doing that like damn homie and things were looking so bad that phil spencer back in february 2024 had to come out and say that they they are not starfield or indiana jones fast forward today while well, this happened roll it can oh. we say if either of those titles are starfield or indiana jones they are not starfield or indiana jones well <laughs> <laughs> and this happened today, spring of 2025. The game's holiday. coming to PlayStation 5 in spring of 2025. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. And you know what? Right after that one, Suggs went crazy. Okay, man went in gang gang, so that this is how Xbox bowing to PlayStation. It is over. Another man says that uh, Danny on PC says that congrats on becoming the biggest publisher on PlayStation 5. How many of these will be on PlayStation, though? No. Uh, put WoW on console immediately. Bethesda Cook, no Fortnite announcement. Man crying about that. Like, right. damn, homie. But guys, uh oh, let's get into this one. Roll What's up, gamers? Dreamcast guy here, and today we're talking about the death of Xbox because at this point, the console of Xbox is literally just useless. It's gathering dust. Every game that was originally coming to Xbox is now also coming to the PlayStation 5, and not only does it look better and play better on the PlayStation 5, but we're about to get the PlayStation 5 Pro, which means that Xbox games are better 
across the board on the PS5. But <sighs> let me break it down because they just announced that Indiana Jones is coming to PlayStation and people seem to be a bit pissed, a bit confused yeah. <laughs> because the people that have been absolutely <laughs> defending the pride of Xbox for years and years and years, yeah, yeah, I think yeah. they realize that it's over. He, he sauce it. <laughs> he sauce it up, man. He sauce it up. And I gotta play you this clip as well in a second. Now listen, uh, as, as a man that turned recently 28 years old, I don't care about like Spider-Man, whether Spider-Man in the future goes on Xbox, whether Halo comes on PlayStation, I really don't give a damn about it, bruh. Like, I, I got my PC ready, I got my Sony Pony 5, hey man, I'm happy with that. Or, in fact, I'm not happy with that because where are the games? We ain't getting no games right now, right? Every game is like uh, for modern audience by the looks of it nowadays, right? And, and yeah, like uh, today, oh, okay, however though, Black Myth Wukong, Oh man, that game's legendary right now. That game, 2.2 million, crazy, okay? Crazy. It's like number two right now, in, in, I believe, in the most amount of players occurred, I guess, or something like that. All time peak, right? I believe PUBG's 3 million, so I don't know if it's gonna be able to beat PUBG. Probably not, maybe not. But still, 2.2 million for a new company, rather, or a, a company that is unheard of. Game Science, the dev team behind uh, Black Myth Wukong. Crazy, though. So I don't necessarily give a damn. I, I care for the memes, though. I, I care for the memes, and let's be real, a lot of people are now getting a wake up call right now because a lot of people will like, oh man, Phil Spencer would never lie. Guys, these gaming corporations don't give a damn about you. Same goes for PlayStation, same goes for Xbox, they don't care, man. Money talks, bull squash walks. Apparently, they, they were like, okay, well, well, if it put the game out on PlayStation, guess what, Sega's, we're gonna be making money. We don't care about the Xbox handies or PlayStation. Now, of course, like, when the normies, I don't know how the normies gonna react to this. I guess if a normie see this and he's like, okay, well, uh, Xbox game's coming on PlayStation, he's gonna be like, damn, maybe let's not buy Xbox, right? So, yeah, I, I can understand that part. But other than that, like, who cares, right? Who cares? I, I guess the fanboys do care. And, and it doesn't look good on Xbox, uh, objectively speaking. But as uh, as a 28-year-old man, I, I really don't give a damn, man, if uh, PlayStation games go on Xbox or Xbox games come on PlayStation, right? But, but objectively, it is true that if spider-man was to go on xbox oh man the memes would be crazy man the memes would be crazy and, and also the uh what was this called the 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 why factor of getting ps5 will reduce even more just like what's going down with xbox right like why do you want to have xbox yeah i don't know like yeah get a pc and game pass on pc and that's it you know or or in this case like if you can wait a little bit then get yourself ps5 if you're a console peasant like me and you don't need xbox simple as that that's the route we're going right now the xbox is dead but <laughs> let's discuss i hope you're having a great day and if you could please give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already so currently Gamescom is in business. This is the big presentation where over in Germany, they announce a bunch of extra stuff. Consider it like a European E3 and Xbox showed up. PlayStation just didn't bother to show their faces, which is a bit strange, but Microsoft yeah. is revealing all sorts of stuff Damn, like uh, the Starfield DLC, which is called Shattered Space, comes out next month. They're releasing a car for those uh everybody everybody say hello to where's that where's that where's that everybody say hello to my brahman from starfield yeah brahman coming back guys brahman big coming empty back. planets they also showed a bunch of stuff for diablo 4 which i think looks incredibly good i got my <laughs> diablo 4 tattoo but here's the part that the uh, game ends with this was the big closer which is that indiana jones is coming out december 8th and it's coming to playstation 5 probably about 60 days after that. So everybody is immediately a bit pissed, a bit betrayed because Phil Spencer, a lot of people at the top of Xbox have been talking about the pride of the brand, saying that Xbox is the best box. It's the cheapest place to play your games. But I think that this has been- What pride? What pride? Like, damn, like these are just plastics, man. These companies don't give a damn about you, bro. The, sec the day you pass away, these suckers gonna be sad about losing that 70 80 dollars uh however much it is right now uh yeah they up upping the prices uh, every year by the looks of it right yeah these suckers gonna be sad that you didn't buy the playstation plus membership man these suckers gonna be sad that you didn't buy the xbox live gold membership bruh 
Like, that's what they're gonna be sad about. They don't care about us, bro. Man, a, a lot of gamers are waking up, though. Like, I, I'm not gonna act like that. Gamers are not waking up. A lot of gamers have woken up. But still, there are delusional Xbox fanboys out there. Delusional PlayStation fanboys. Memes are fine, though. Guys, listen. Memes are fine, though. I'm not talking about, like, the, the Sony ponies that are trying to meme this situation right now. The Xbox Andes that would also meme the situation when some bad news hit for PlayStation. Oh, absolutely. But, but like, damn. Like, is it that deep? I mean, memes-wise, I love it, though, but, but like, it, it ain't even that deep, though. It ain't even that deep. We, we've been knowing, like, Xbox is uh, not doing super good right now, so they gotta, they gotta put the games on PlayStation right now, so... Yay, and PlayStation... God, <laughs> where are the games, man? Where are the games? We've been getting Concord. <laughs> we've been getting, like, yeah, probably... <laughs> Uh, or that that's Call of Duty, my bad. Uh, but, but like, yeah, where are the games on PlayStation? PlayStation ain't getting no games. Xbox ain't getting no games. Or Indiana Jones, they're getting it, but it's for modern audience. Okay, yeah, let me actually show you guys that modern audience guy that actually came out. This time they did not ha had him introduce Indiana Jones at summer, summer, or I should say Gamescom, right? Kind of wild, kind of wild. I wonder why. I wonder why, okay? Very obvious for a long time. I've made a lot of videos about the downfall of Xbox because to me, it's just been so blatant for the last couple of years. The console is not selling. The hardware is completely dead. Nobody's subscribing to Game Pass. They keep jacking up the price of Game Pass. And now it's become this terrible Ouroboros, a snake eating its own tail where they don't want you to buy games. Oh my God, machine games cooked. Yeah, hell yeah. This game does look good. We're gonna look at some screenshots of it. But they've done this thing where Xbox trained their audience to not buy games, to only get Game Pass. And while that worked in the short term, it's definitely just crushed their business. Because now, if they release a game on PlayStation 5, if Xbox puts stuff out on PlayStation, it actually sells. It actually makes money. See of Thieves. I mean, everything they've released so far on the PlayStation has been incredibly profitable. And a lot of people are saying, okay, then why even have an Xbox? Why support Xbox? Like, at this point, if there is a shelf, if you have $500 in your pocket, and to the left of you is a PlayStation, and to the right is an Xbox, nobody, and I do mean this, nobody is going to buy an Xbox because it's better on PlayStation. PlayStation has more games. And also, think about all the stuff that isn't even coming to Xbox. Today, I actually just stayed up all night playing Black Myth Wukong. I made a video oh, about that that's well. kind of blowing up. The game is fantastic. Black Myth Wukong is actually one of the biggest games in the world right now. It has yeah, millions facts, of facts, current facts. players. It's it's just ginormous. Yeah, it 2.2 million something like that. Yeah, crazy. It, it, yeah, that's what I was talking about, man. That game is blowing up. It is only on PlayStation. It is not on Xbox at all. It'll come to <laughs> Xbox eventually, hopefully. But at this point, every exclusive Bruh. game that comes to Xbox is temporary. Like this, you can play Indiana Jones exclusively on Xbox for about a month. I like this. I'll beta test it on Xbox Game Pass and then buy the definitive edition on the PlayStation 5 Pro. This is the biggest deal that keeps sticking in my brain is that, honestly, this game does look pretty freaking fantastic. Machine games, uh, they're made of the Wolfenstein. You know, these guys are the best at murdering Nazis, ripping them apart, watching all their gooey, worthless, soulless bodies get evaporated, right? Getting to kill Nazis as Indiana Jones is going to be fun. But additionally, it is weird to think that as good as this game could possibly look on the Xbox console, which is obviously very underpowered, it's yep. going to look better, play better, be better optimized with better frame rate and better resolution on the PlayStation 5. The biggest detriment of the current Xbox is that everything that runs on the Series X has to run on the Series S, which means that developers, if you want to put something on Xbox, it's double the work for half the pay. So more and more people are just completely skipping it. And I've seen a lot of people sort of saying, okay, then what's the point? Like, <laughs> this is Destin Legarry. He works on an, ex ah! on an Xbox ah! podcast. He has been very vocal about the weird trend of Xbox to be abandoning the brand. Clearly, my... Yo, the, the homie Destin not feeling super hot about it, man. Like, damn, man. So the homie Destin is like, yeah, I mean, a PC, but without the need to worry about... That is crazy, bro. Like, I didn't... Uh, because uh, those of you that do not know, Destin is a massive Xbox fan. Right, so yeah, like he has been going crazy on the Phil Spencer's ass, man. Gaming for everyone, man, strikes again. Gaming for everyone, man, is just like, <laughs> oh my god, I still cannot believe it. I'm not sure whether this tweet is true or not, but like, imagine it is. I'm sad about three seats away from Phil Spencer and glanced over during the reveal of Indiana Jones coming to PS5. He legit looked like this. Imagine this is a real, real, real. Could you imagine, like, holy crap, like, you know what I'm saying, right? Phil Spencer must have been imagining, what must have been wondering, like, oh man, I remember February 2024, you see, like, all the way back then, bro? 
I told these psychos that Indiana Jones is not gonna be coming on PlayStation. Well, tough love, guys. Like, money talks, bull squash walks, okay? But, but wait for it. Wait Soft for it. no longer cares. For the last 20 years, Microsoft is focused on making the best Xbox possible, trying to make it so that first-party and third-party developers would want to make stuff there. Anybody who's ever researched anything about how games are made on classic Xbox, stuff like Project Durango and Xenon and all that, there used to be a big incentive to get games onto Xbox, which meant that you'd get stuff like Final Fantasy 13 on the same console where you can play Gears of War, and it's kind of, it was insane. Like, Xbox 360 especially was crazy, and then everything started to go very wrong in the Xbox One, and now, <laughs> as catastrophically pathetic as the Xbox One sales were, the Xbox Series X and S are below it. Every quarter, they keep raising the price of Game Pass, nobody new is signing up for it, and nobody's buying the console, they're digging a hole. So, Destin like Gary pitched this, I think the next Xbox will be more like a PC, it'll allow other storefronts like Steam or Epic Game Store, but with the ease of a console. Boot up God of War, Portal 2, or Halo Infinite all on one uh, Xbox. Daniel. Change my mind. Yes, Daniel. it will essentially be a PC, but without the need to worry about drivers and all that plus what comes with personal computer gaming, if they can package it where all you do is link your accounts like we do anyways, and boot it up whenever you game, I think that would be very compelling. I think it's interesting. Damn, that is crazy though. Oh, Seconds are going out uh, already with the idea that it's over for Xbox, so might as well not even make the next Xbox, whatever the next Xbox would be. Just make it into a PC, essentially. PlayStation and Xbox are computers. Yeah, they're computers, like, duh, they are. But, of course, with the... Uh, with the operating system being like that of Xbox and PlayStation, like the software is clearly PlayStation and PlayStation and, so and Xbox on Xbox, where you get the UI and all that. I guess what he's saying is just make like a damn PC, right? Just a, just a smaller PC where you just log into your accounts and just play games that way. Yeah, it is crazy. I want to show you what the homie, the gamer two three two three said. The gamer two three two three, take it away. Roll it. Now we all like, I mean. Damn. Maybe some of us did not know, but this has been rumored for a while that uh, Xbox is, you know, one of their big titles, upcoming titles, uh, was rumored to be coming to PlayStation. And, you know, just like you guys seen at the very beginning, Phil uh, Spencer was like, oh, no, 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 no. It ain't going to be, it, 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 it's not going to be Starfield. It's not going to be Indiana Jones. I knew that sucker was lying. I can't, I can't look at Phil Spencer no more today and believe a word that comes out of that sucker's mouth. And it's not even because of Phil Spencer himself. Some people you know, like to blame everything going on at Xbox on Phil Spencer. Yeah. Well, I think Phil Spencer has said some crazy things as yeah. of late. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. However, I think Phil Phil Spencer is just a puppet. Phil Spencer is just like the president. Like, I don't I, I don't think the president is really in charge of nothing neither. It, it's all the suckers behind the scenes that you never see that's really calling the shots, making, yeah. you know, the moves at Xbox. And, you know, Phil Spencer just has to be the guy to, you know, <laughs> you know, to make this stuff known. So suckers be like, yo, fire this dude, fine? <laughs> yeah, suckers crazy, I guess. Suckers gonna be suckers, okay? And yeah, suckers did say, like, for example, the homie Dreamcast guy, fire the liar, fire the liar. That, um, I remember, like, the, the it, it was insane just a couple of months ago, right? Suckers were calling out Phil Spencer, and suckers were saying that Phil need to be fired and all that. Sony ponies were going ham, and yeah, this is what the gamer 2323 is talking about right now. This dude, get rid of him. But yeah, at this point, I don't believe a word that, come out, that comes out of Phil Spencer's mouth, because why should I? Why should I believe anything that this man has to say, given the track record of what's been going on at Xbox? I don't even think it really, I mean, honestly, I do think it's for the best that Indiana Jones, because I, I, so it drops on Xbox in December. It drops on Xbox and PC and Game Pass uh, in December of this year. Then yeah. in spring of next year, it's coming to PlayStation. I do feel like uh, it is better that this game is dropping eventually on PS5 because I don't, you know, I, I mean, there's been so many games at this point that was said to have a saved Xbox and it was supposed to be this game at one point, then this game, then this game. No game has really gotten Xbox like you know, like a spike in sales where people are just going out and being like, yo, I need to get an Xbox right now, which is why I just feel like it has nothing to do with Ness. I mean, it does have to do with their games, but it's also because... Now, now listen, okay, for, let's be objective for a second here. Of course, like, them putting out Xbox exclusives on PlayStation would reduce the Y factor of getting an Xbox, absolutely. But in, in the end, what they're trying to achieve here is making more money. And, and yeah, they're gonna make more money, absolutely, by having the games available everywhere. What are we talking about? Yeah, absolutely, they're gonna be making more money. And I guess they tested out with four games earlier, and they probably saw money coming in like so 
Konami, they saw that play the games are selling well on PlayStation, so <laughs> let's drop another one, another one, and another one, okay? Now, to be fair, though, it's not like Indiana Jones. Yeah, that's the thing that I'm not understanding from the Xbox fan boys, right? Like, that, that are super pissed off about it, that are taken literally. First of all, man, these corporations, guys, don't give a damn about us. I I'm saying the same for PlayStation as well, okay? And before everybody's like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, uh, memes are fine. Memes are fine. I love the banter and all that. You know, sometimes you gotta live a little, absolutely. But let's be real, man. These corporations don't give a damn about you, bro. Like, money talks, bull squash walks. That that's where we at. For example, Dest... Uh, 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 Dest... Uh, what's the name? Uh... I'm forgetting it. I'm forgetting their name. You know the Acolyte Destiny? Is it Destiny? Um, like Disney, Disney. Oh yeah, my bad. Bruh. Disney, right? Like so, Acolyte. Like when Super Bowl, people didn't like it, and we're finding out they apparently shut down after season one. <laughs> Wonder why? Because they were losing so much money, and the modern audience were not there to watch it, so they ultimately had to shut down. Go figure. That Dustborn game, right? Super Woke and all that, right? Seventy some players were playing that game. <laughs> Meanwhile, meanwhile, Black Myth Wukong that said no to sweet babying, that said no to pandering, that said no to forced diversity, the forced uh, wokeness of the game, forced political correctness of that game, even though it's being made by like China. Just suckers uh, don't like the Chinese government. Nothing against the people, though. People always good, though. We always have bad apples for sure. But generally speaking, people, mostly in all races uh, and everywhere, are g generally good people, right? It's just the government that are bad that uh, that makes uh, stupid bad decisions. That makes people. It's like one person does something and then other people suckers be blaming the entire nation, right? So yeah, so, like it, it, it ain't even about that. But suckers have been saying, I rather communism than wokeness, right? Like I have been seeing those comments. I rather CC. P, uh, then they, they will crap yay suckers have been saying that i guess suckers gonna be suckers but like where are the lies with it black myth wukong non-woke game and actually a very good game like forget about the woke crap like it's it's actually a very good game right so guess what two million now two million all-time peak players they already made their money back plus more right uh, it's only been day one so far two million people versus 70 people that were playing that woke game like yeah like duh so sooner or later these companies gonna learn man like we gotta make that money man we gotta go where the money's at man so that's where we're going you don't that's need an xbox at. to play some of their biggest titles out there like freaking hello if you don't need an xbox to play most of their best best games why are people going out to buy an xbox uh, i i guess uh, still like if, if you're somebody that is like super massive fan of indiana jones and the great circle jerk then i guess <laughs> uh, I, then i guess uh yeah right like it's coming early on xbox so i guess that's gonna be the factor of uh yeah man i gotta get the xbox man i gotta get the xbox or to be honest so you can get it like early same time on pc as well so yeah the, the why factor of getting an xbox is going down though it is going down but if you're still like console peasant like me uh and, and you like what xbox gotta offer and game pass like damn right uh of course like still getting an xbox is not necessarily uh, I mean, you can still get an Xbox and play the games early that way, though. But I have to agree, for the normies, the, the Y factor is going down big time. Once again, I mean, but, but people act like, like, Game Pass has nothing to do with this job. <laughs> like, games on PC have nothing to do with this job. I just believe that Microsoft don't even believe themselves that their games are going to sell well if they just drop it on, on one or two platforms at that. That is why they are now being like, no, we've taken enough, <laughs> we have taken enough risks. We have, you know, bought out and acquired all these freaking studios and yeah. spent all this money. We ain't doing this junk no more. We we need to make max profits. And yeah. if that is yeah, that, releasing games is. on PlayStation soon, so be it. <laughs> so freaking be it. And I there it is. He said it like exactly. That's the thing, man. You spend seven point five billion dollars on Bethesda. You spend seventy billion on acquiring Activision. I mean, yeah, bro, like, they need to make the money back. And uh, reports have been saying that Game Pass is not generating a profit. So far, the only thing that's generating profit already is acquiring Activision. Because Call of Duty is massive, right? Like, Call of Duty Mobile, Candy Crush, right? Call of Duty Warzone, free-to-play. Uh, and recently, if I'm not mistaken, they came out with Call of Duty Warzone on mobile. I'm, I haven't been hearing about that too much, though. I heard about, like, it came out, but I'm not sure if it's still out. People uh, are sick of still playing. I'm not sure what Sick is doing right now, okay? But you got Call of Duty Warzone on, uh, on PC, consoles, 
plus black ops 6 coming out right new call of duty game every year microtransactions the the, the friendly uav online the bbc bundles the uh, the 20 dollars 30 dollars 40 dollar weapon skins and microtransactions and all that they make money more money than god uh, with call of duty so yeah, that's a metaphor, by the way. That's a metaphor, by the way. I'm a, I believe in God as well myself. I'm a religious guy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm a God-fearing man, okay? But but here's the thing, though. Like, yeah, so right now, it is all about making the profits. It is all about making the money, bro. It is it is over. They're, they're, they're done toying around and messing around. Guys, check out this video on the screen. We actually had, like, really good gameplay leaks for GTA 6. We also got the highest leaks as well, man. Check out this video on the screen. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left. Crazy drama, brothers. Crazy